Alright, Jammer here with a review of Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu, an action platformer released for the NES by Hudson in 1990, though it was also released for the TurboGrafx-16. And it's a great, if short, title. The story is, well, your movie star and stuntmaster Jackie Chan. And while on a stroll with a girl, some demon shows up and kidnaps her. So, it's up to Jackie to emerge from his meditation waterfall cave, respect his elders, then implement his kung fu skill and winning personality to rescue her. Jackie must make his way through five stages, each with a surprising variety of sub-levels, and defeat the large boss of each. Jackie jumps quite well and with great precision, and his standard attacks, composed of punches, low kicks, and, uh, and jump kicks, have good reach. Holding the B button also charges a projectile attack that can only be used a few times. Both hit detection and platform detection are spot on, and the camera follows Jackie extremely well, despite the fact that the sprites are so large for an NES game and Jackie moves fairly quickly. While the game is fairly short, there is quite a lot of depth to each stage. There are platforming focused areas, rivers, printing sections where the screen scrolls at a predetermined pace, etc. And uh, a variety of enemies ranging from tigers to mysterious flying pufferfish, to demons and dragons and others. There are a few different kinds of power-ups to help Jackie along the way. Enemies drop orbs, and if Jackie collects 30 of them, his health is restored to max. Frogs will spit out power-ups as well when attacked, one of which looks to me like a rice bowl or a food bowl or something like that, uh, which restores two health bars, while the rest are consumable kung fu moves, uh, which are used by pressing up and B, which do extra damage and grant Jackie invincibility while he's performing them. Uh, if Jackie moves to certain parts of each stage, a bell appears, which, when collected, summons Jackie's instructor slash cloud master or whatever uh, to come give him a lift to a bonus stage, which has special objectives that, once completed, reward points towards bonus lives or health restoration. While the gameplay is very good, I can't help but focus on the aesthetics of the game when I play it. The developers did a great job with uh, the NES color palettes, and there is quite a bit of style and detail to each stage. Jackie's expressions are entertaining as well. When idle, he has a huge grin on his face, but while moving, he becomes quite determined. Uh, aside from his likeness on the title screen and his 8-bit sprites, uh, there really isn't much of this game that is specific to Jackie Chan unless there is some movie with rocket turtles. I mean, I guess I'd see that. Imagine r arriving to work or school or the movies or whatever on one of those things. While this isn't a terribly challenging game since it lacks instant death pits or traps, and Many of the bosses aren't too tough. The game isn't a pushover, and it's likely that players will need to use several continues to complete the game, at least before memorizing it anyways. I definitely recommend picking up this game. Uh, if you happen to come across it at a used game store or online, uh, it shouldn't be too expensive, I wouldn't think. Um, and one last thing, the music is quite good in this game, particularly the track for the running sequence in the first stage, which I'll leave you with. Have a good one.